What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a really fun one. So over the weekend, I saw Dead & Company at their tour opener at Dodger Stadium, and it was awesome. The band were on fire that night. It seemed like they rehearsed a good amount this past week because they weren't a lot of hiccups, really, almost none. Uh, tempo was good, no slow on company, as the joke is, but it was a great night of incredible music. And I think John played more notes that one show than he did all of the soft rock tour and didn't hit a bad note at all. He's a master of his craft and it just flows effortlessly through him. So today's video is, I guess you'd call an inspired by Lick, right? of a phrase that he does in his solo in Jack Straw, which is a really cool turnaround lick um, over the E chord. So let's go. Also, you know the drill. Please hit that subscribe button below. 67% of you aren't subscribed to the channel and I wanna go in the channel, so please subscribe. It's so easy. Yeah, click it. Cool, so today's lesson is brought to you by <laughs> a very inspired Gabe after watching Dead & Co. this past weekend at Dodger Stadium on their tour opener for summer. Honestly, I went in there with pretty low expectations because it is a tour opener, but they were quickly passed and it was an incredible afternoon slash night. The band were on fire and John was killing. So the context of today's lesson is within the song Jack Straw. Uh, second to last song of the first set. And John pulls off this turnaround going back from the E to the D to repeat the chord progression. <laughs> flawlessly. I think we have to remember that all this is improvised, thought of in the second as he's doing the solo and executed just effortlessly. Just really incredible playing. If you listen to it on the Nugs app, it happens around 7.04 in the minute mark. So that phrase slash passage is something like this, slowly and not in context with the chords behind it. Right. And then I would end it like this. Back to the progression. So before we dive into that little passage, let's quickly reiterate the chords that are happening underneath. Right, we have our D major, B minor, A, E, right? Triads. Or even. Or even. So this phrase happens over the E chord, right? To get you back to that D. And it's really just intervals of sixth, you'd call them, right? I guess maybe double stops would be also the correct vernacular, but it's sixth intervals. 
And it's really cool because he's kind of playing that same chord progression just really fast over the E chord, right? So he'll do like this E, this G sharp, E, descend, F sharp, D, E and C sharp, G, B, F sharp, A, B, and G sharp, right? And I do that very E major sound like at the very end, where I do B, and then slide bend, and then F sharp, D, sorry, C sharp, D to get you back to that D chord, right? It happens really, really fast. So if we do that again slowly. Really cool, hey? hand picking is all in this lesson in this in this lick right cool and to think that literally in a millisecond John's soloing in front of like 20,000 people he just does <laughs> and sticks the landing as if he was playing this phrase every single day for the past like two weeks <laughs> epic again Slowly. That right there is the main context of this phrase. And then you can end like, or even. More simple, you know what I mean? Maybe do that, get back to the D like that, maybe. Really, the ball's in your court now. Today's main video goal was to show you this. Because I wouldn't have thought of that personally.
is today's video on this Jack Straw sixth turnaround that John did in his Jack Straw solo. Let's say it as uh, 6 11 22. <laughs> so if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.